On January 29, 1951, Henrietta Lacks checked into John Hopkins Hospital due to abnormal abdominal pain and bleeding. Henrietta? It was in this instance that Please she would soon me. be diagnosed with cervical cancer. However, she would never live to be informed that the doctors at John Hopkins had taken two samples from her cervix for further Let's research. Wait, is this like... That's like... My cells. Henrietta passed that October, however, the extracted died. cells in their culture still them. live to grow to this very day, as if they are immortal. And in many ways, these cells have led to multiple medical and biological discoveries. HeLa cells for short have assisted in the discovery of the polio understanding vaccine. Of HIV and HPV. They've also helped in determining whether some and an understanding or not the structural difference in and cancer cells. And they've accumulated the greatest cell culture library. As stated briefly before, HeLa cells helped contribute to understanding the structural differences between not just cancer cells and normal cells, but between themselves and normal cancer cells as well. These cells won't die. Let's just use them for a polio vaccine. A major polio epidemic hit around the 1940s and 1950s, with a cure that would shortly follow with its discovery. With 1955 came Dr. Jonas Salk's creation of a polio vaccine, which was tested on HeLa cells in its development. When tested, the immortal cells were observed to have become infected and ultimately die. The vaccine would have the opposite effect in people. Because the cells have been able to grow at such a quick rate, they have accumulated the largest cell library. These cells won't die. Let's clone them. And while a single HeLa cell is practically weightless, the number of HeLa cells on Earth is said to amass to over- Wow, look at that. My dose is so beautiful. Over 50 million metric tons. Yeah, so I'm gonna just let you watch this heal cell divide. It's quite mesmerizing. Let's use these cells to study salmonella. That's a good idea. Hi, I'm Ella Sick because I ate too much cookie dough. And now, I have salmonella. Just a few things. One, yes, cookie dough was in fact being packaged and sold by the 1950s. And two, we also know that the eggs in said packaged cookie dough are usually pasteurized, so it's less likely to get salmonella. But we're not just gonna eat raw eggs. No, no, so you get the point. Now back to the scheduled programming. These cells won't die. Let's sell them. Yeah, so it's not quite portrayed the same here, but the commercialization of HeLa cells is quite controversial, obviously, because it was quite an unethical move for the scientists to do so without Henrietta's consultation. Also, the dude buying these cells was racist, and his heart definitely wasn't in the right place with utilizing the cells, but... That's enough of my unsolicited opinion. I wonder if these cells will die in space. Let's test it. Now, to get to why HeLa cells were launched into space in the first place, we've got to clarify that... The Cold War was essentially just one really big race between the Eastern and the Western Bloc countries, and a lot of it happened to pertain to science. So, like, obviously, why wouldn't they be racing to shoot cells into space first? You know? And they also happened to divide much quicker. So HeLa cells, they helped in the discovery of a polio vaccine, the understanding of HIV, HPV, herpes and AIDS. They helped study the contagiousness of salmonella, the structural differences between normal cancer and immortal cells, and they made a huge cell library, as opposed to, you know, like a cell library. Yeah, get it? Cool. Uh, anyways, thank you for watching. Here are some bloopers. These boys are alive. <laughs> <laughs> How do you say cervix in Southern? These are Henrietta's very cells. <laughs> so don't put that in. There was a lot of chocolate chips in here. Mm hmm. <laughs> Just try to take your cell! <laughs> Are you gonna tickle me or something? <laughs> Wait, what? You're buying cells. Oh. Uh. Ooh, does that count as ASMR? <laughs> Henrietta?
Dr. Guy, you better help me. <laughs> that was a little rude. <laughs> she was very nice. Henrietta. <laughs> Brock, please give us an A. Intoxicated.